Sarah Shahi, everybody. Sarah Shahi. How yeah, are you? I'm good. You didn't mind me spitting on NBC, did you? You spit on NBC. I did put on CBS. Put on hey, CBS. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, I was only kidding. I'm only So was I. So was I. Good. I know. I good. look. I'm only angry at NBC because they canceled Lipstick Jungle. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was not good. Yeah. But okay for us, I guess. Oh, you are. We got saying? our back nine, oh, so I'm very happy. Whatever back nine they had means to you, do. The, your show's still on the air. That's right. We're still on the air. Right. I actually got the night off tonight to come and be with oh, you. Oh, that's rather nice. It now, was, that was person you were in that scene with, I know that guy. That's Donald Logue. He's a friend of mine. Is he really? Yeah. How do you know Donald? Well, you know, here's the funny thing. <laughs> I, no, I, I did a movie with him years ago. You did? I played a gay hairdresser. Hard to believe, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. And he played my bestie friend. Your bestie? My be no, no, no. Your kinda, bestie no, no, bestie? He, he was kind of like confused. How bestie was he? Well, he, he liked me, but he didn't, you know, he was kind of like, oh, yeah. 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 Donald can be very indecisive like that sometimes. Oh, I don't think so with you he would be. <laughs> no, he's, uh, where are you from? I'm from Texas. Really? I yeah, like born Texas and raised. A lot. What part of Texas? This little tiny town, it's called Euless. Um, it's actually, it's right in between Dallas and Fort Worth. And I don't know, do you guys know it at all? What, well, Euless? No, yeah, no, uh, so, you're yeah. one of the Australian ladies that's actually it's, been it's, there. You know what? It's a great town. It's one of those towns where, like, the local Sizzler and Wendy's is where you go. And don't everybody say knows. these names on, or can we? Oh. Sizzler and Wendy's? Oh, okay. yeah, we can. Oh, yeah, all right. Good. <laughs> Why could you I not? tell you, did you ever go to IHOP? Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't understand. That's yeah, all right. We're just okay, we're okay. messing around. We're all right, messing good, around. good, good. So, um, yeah, you know, it's it's a nice little town where everybody knows your name, and you get a very nice, like, humble, grounded upbringing, and you you know you learn your yes, ma'ams, your no, sirs, your pleases and thank yous, and guns all that as stuff, well. You know? A lot of guns. You know. As you you saw how easily is that, that is that for real? That was you, real. You really can fire a gun. Yeah, that was a forty-five. I right find there. that very very attractive in a woman. <laughs> There's something very attractive about knowing how to do it. Yeah, that's good too. That's also good. That little thing. What the hell is that? You know when people do that? Oh, look, my hand's really a person it's the coming to get you. <laughs> well, hello. Well, hello, you. Going my way. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Now it's a threesome. Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah. And that. That is. That is the closest you'll get to sex on this show. Well, it's certainly the closest I'll get to sex on this show. It is CBS. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we're slightly different here. It's the Columbia Broadcasting System. Mm. Things are a little more kind of dignified. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. Now, uh, you moved to Tex uh, from here to here from Texas, or did yeah. you go to New York? Everybody goes to New York first, don't no, they? No, I didn't. You know, I, um, I used to be a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys. Shut up! <laughs> did you really? You're paying me $400 to come here and talk, and now you're telling me to shut up. No, no, no. That's... Did you get $400 for that? <laughs> I did. Really? I, it, it's, it's, the guest it was a raise. Money. It was actually a raise. Really? It was a raise from yesterday. Your raise just went up a little bit. Did they really? Yeah, thank you. In this bucks? economy, I do need it. Wow. So. Hey, you hear that, celebrities? Come on <laughs> up. 400 bucks? Awesome. 400 big ones. All right, so you were a, a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys. That's... I was a cheerleader for the Cowboys. Any Cowboys fans? No. no. That fell flat, didn't it? Yeah. Whoa. You, should have, you should have been here for the monologue. <laughs> yeah. That actually did pretty well. Well, you were supposed to talk about Mickey Mouse. I was going to talk about Mickey Mouse. You and like you Mickey didn't. Mouse? I love Mickey Mouse. Really? Yeah, Disneyland's the happiest place on earth. You go to Disneyland a lot? Were you taken with it when you came here? Did you, I, you know, I have some friends that are really into Disneyland, and they got me into it, and now I have, like, the set of pins. These, I do the whole wait, thing. Wait, wait, wait. These friends who are really into <laughs> Disneyland. Why are they... <laughs> Why are they so into Disneyland? Just like Donal was your bestie. Oh, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, no, back to how I came here. It's a more interesting story. But, okay. um, so, I'll yeah, be so the judge I, of that, so. young lady. Not oh, right. will you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, so, yeah, so I, I was a cheerleader for the Cowboys, and then um, Robert Altman came to Texas to film Dr. T and the Women. Oh, right, okay. And he used our rehearsal facilities as his backdrops and his sets and I didn't know who he was and 
he just seemed like a really cool guy and you know and and we hit it off and he he kind of became the catalyst. He asked me one day, what is it that you want to do? And I said, well, I'd love to become an actress. But, you know, growing up in Texas, I mean, going to the moon is more feasible than actually coming to Hollywood and being on TV and being on a talk show and the whole thing. So Yeah, I know, because in Scotland, it's like, boom, straight to L.A. <laughs> when I grew up, it was like, what are you going to do? Talk show host in America? You got it! <laughs> <laughs> it's either that or Shepard. What do you want? Oh! <laughs> I'll do the talk show. Well, you do it very well. No, thanks very much. You're no, Scottish. Th That's great. My fiance's part Scottish. Really? Which mm -hmm. part? Yeah. <laughs> Your fiance's Scottish? Well, I'm no, a lady. When... I don't talk about yeah, those right, parts. No, no, but, but the... Oh, look, you have got... Is that an engagement ring? It is. It oh, is. that's lovely. Thank look at that. Look. It's a little sparkle. Oh, everybody loves that. Wait, that thing. was a shot of your pants. That wasn't a shot yeah, of the no. ring. I saw well, that. We don't, that we was, don't spend no, the big wait, money on the director here. We spent 400 bucks a time on the guest. Is that we got guy no the money director? For a director? Is that guy the director? No, no, that guy. It's just some dude oh, that hangs out okay. there. I mean, <laughs> just kind of hangs out there the whole time. Just like scowling He's and very judging. nice. He's very nice. Yeah, very no, nice. no, not nice to you, yeah. Yeah, Because well. you're earning the big money now. Yeah, uh, 400 bucks. 400 bucks, yeah. yeah, yeah. God, what were we even talking about? I don't know, you're from Texas. Oh, yeah. You're, and you're from you're, Scotland. Your fiancé is part Scottish. Yes, he is, yeah. No, no, uh, is, he's from Scotland or his parents are from Scotland? Well, his, 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 his lineage is Scottish, but mm -hmm. he was actually born in Texas and then raised in California and stuff. Right. But um, well, that'll work well for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's good. Well, I'm very glad you came. Well, thanks here. so much. Yeah, it was, it was happy to friend. be here. Yeah, it's funny. Come back us. again. <laughs> Come back and good luck with I your will. show. Well done Thank with the folks so at the much. NBC, and you know I, we love them, of course. Good and <laughs> you're a child. I know. You are a child. It's my job. <laughs> All right. CBS. Sarah Chai, you mean Sarah Chai? We'll be right back. is a beautiful actress who will be a guest starring on Chicago Fire, which airs Wednesday nights on, what is it? Uh, NBC. NBC. <laughs> the lovely Sarah Shahi, everybody. Sarah Shahi. Cut. Yes. Sarah, a lot of people at home will be wondering why you didn't do the talk show walk across from there over right. to there, and then everyone can look at your legs, which I'm doing now. Why, uh... <laughs> Why, why did you not um, walk across? Um, you have a sore well, foot? I, I do, I do. I, I did this marathon over the weekend for, it was, a, it was a, a fundraiser for cancer. Like a real marathon? Like a real marathon. 26 months, 24 well, months, whatever okay, it is. Well, okay, uh, let, me, let me start over. My definition of a marathon is running anything more than two minutes. Okay. So this was a 5K. That's not a marathon. But, but, yeah. it, but hey, man, hey, it was for me. Don't hey, but, man, but, me. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like people have gone jazz crazy. Like, like the audience is clicking their fingers. You're calling me. Are you a jazz fan? Oh, love jazz. Love oh. blues. And I heard you play a mouth organ that I want you to blow. <laughs> a little bit later. I also play the harmonica. <laughs> no, yeah, you, are, you um, really are a fan of jazz? Yeah, no, I am. I did this. Uh, I did this movie in New Orleans last summer, and I got really into the blues. And every now we, we went to, out to a different jazz blues bar, and the harmonica just really kind of just got into my blood. Yeah, it's good. Do you play yourself? And I no, I just got one though, and I want to learn. So maybe you can be my teacher. No, no, I can't. Maybe I could. <laughs> Is that the sore leg? Yes. The doctor told me to elevate it. So here we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is the Late Late Show, right? It is now, yeah. <laughs> it is now, I like yeah. your dress, it's very sparkly. You know what, some girls are just bored with more glitter. <laughs> I rehearsed that bit, I was hoping it worked. It's yeah, no. <laughs> Here's the thing about this show, anything yeah. rehearsed is gonna stand out pretty I know, badly. I yeah. Know, I can tell. So be I careful, can tell. that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Now how are things with you, you've got a, you've got a little uh, uh, three-year-old? I do. All right. Uh, you, a human, three-year-old human. It's not like a you know, three-year-old uh, child. No, yeah, no, it's a human. Yeah. Uh, like, do you ever have those moments where you just go, why? Usually during the like, monologue, actually. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do. It happens a lot, yeah. Yeah, I have a three-year-old son who's the love of my life. Yes, of well, course. They're, they're lovely, but... He's yeah. in your green room right now, eating up all your chocolate, terrorizing everybody. It's not... Well, the thing is to remember, it's not my chocolate. I, uh, oh. I, 
I don't think. Is it mine, technically? Because I'll take it if it is mine. <laughs> I don't think it's mine. I think it's a CBS chocolate. Did they give you chocolate at NBC? They did give me lots of chocolate. Really? What's, yeah. And what's the show you're on? Yeah. Chicago Fire? I'm doing a guest spot right now on Chicago Fire. Right. And what's yes. the show? Is it uh, Firefighters? Firefighters. More specifically, um, I play Taylor Kinney's girlfriend. Right. And he's just hot. He's just uh, H-O-T. You're telling me, girl. <laughs> Something else. It's very late, late, late. Yeah, night yeah, no, yes. Yeah. That's how he passes the time. Do you yeah, have yeah. Kleenex next oh, to wait, you? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you set him off at a creepy. Oh movie. wow. What do you do in this fire time show? What's it called again? Fire, fire. Chicago fire. Yeah, yeah. The uh, so do you you play the girlfriend of the hot firefighter? Yeah, I get nice to make job. Out with him yeah, a lot. you make out with him? Yeah, a lot. Nice. <laughs> Do you oh. do any firefighting? I'm glad you guys had booze back there. <laughs> you had booze back there? Really? I didn't know we had booze back there. I don't encourage that either. I don't even know what the hell's going on here. Uh, Your mean, kid's running around eating candy like and there's it. booze back there? And <laughs> what the hell's going on? We're going to have the... the oh uh, What's going on? That's Jeff. Where am I? What? Who's that guy? I'll that tell guy. You one thing, I'm not gay anymore. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't know, man. I think if the firefighter was here, you'd be right back to where you started. <laughs> That's your gay robot friend? He's my gay robot skeleton pal. Yeah, he's my buddy. We go back oh, a long way. How long do we go oh, back? Oh, uh, 20, 30 years. 20, 30 years. Yeah, we were sure. in vaudeville together. I was uh, poppycock and he was stick it out. What was it? Fiddlesticks. <laughs> fiddlesticks. Easy. Yeah. What? Oh my <laughs> fiddlesticks. God. Fiddlesticks. Yeah, fiddlesticks and poppycock. Yeah. Well, you never heard of us? We were very, we were the tenacious D of our time. Right, of course. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Very excited to see them. Yeah, no, uh, good, because they'll be coming up next. We're out of time. Uh, do you fancy, <laughs> do you want a piece of fruit? I would love a piece of fruit. Uh, what do you fancy? A banana. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> there you are. It leans a bit to one side, but you'll be all right. <laughs>